Suffrage makes strange bedfellows. Hi, I'm Laura Cuman, author of All Stirred Up, Suffrage Cookbooks, Food, and the Battle for Women's Right to Vote. The suffragists and their allies were not a single homogenous group. Instead, the movement was made up of women and men with diverse agendas and perspectives from various backgrounds. There were the suffrage version of nasty women, rabble-rousers who wanted societal change on a number of fronts. They picketed and got arrested, went on hunger strikes in prison, and called out politicians and others in power in no uncertain terms. You've probably seen photographs of them. To the extent that history books cover suffrage, they tend to focus on these women. But there were also more sedate women in the movement. Their approach was quieter, using cookbooks, food, and other means to start conversations focused on voting rights. They did not necessarily agree with a broader agenda for social change. Sometimes, suffragists with differing agendas and styles joined together in a single organization. Other times, they went their separate ways, and occasionally they even fought publicly. The suffrage tent was also big in other ways. It included immigrants, along with people who were vehemently opposed to immigration and prejudiced against immigrants. Women and some men of color were suffragists and fought for voting rights for women at the same time as the suffrage movement included white suffragists who engaged in racism. The movement looked for allies in the community at large. While those efforts could expand its support, alliances could also bring tension and even awaken opposition forces. One example was the alliance between the suffrage and temperance movements. Temperance, or the movement to ban alcohol, was a strong force in America at about the same time as suffrage. A number of suffragists were also temperance advocates, and the two movements often worked together. The alliance brought advantages, but it also caused the liquor industry to view suffrage as an enemy and to actively oppose suffrage bills and referenda. In All Stirred Up, you'll find out more about the unlikely collaborators in the suffrage cause. I hope you'll join in the battle to make voting rights a reality for all and celebrate the struggle with a tasty suffrage cookbook treat, perhaps the lemon pie or the mahogany cake.